The next time you walk your dog without a leash, it could cost you. The city of LA is now finding pet owners who let their animals roam free. KCAL 9's Amy Johnson shows us how much it'll hurt your bank account. It's scary when you're out and a dog comes running after you. You don't know what they're going to do. Melissa Scholl recalled the day she was chased by a large dog. And after such a frightening ordeal, she wants stronger enforcement of leash laws. If it's going to encourage people to leash their dogs, then it's a good idea. Currently, walking your dog with a leash is a law that isn't always enforced or followed. Owners have come up to me when he's not on a leash and said, could you please put your dog on a leash? And some don't think it's a law that really needs to be enforced at all. I trust in the, in the, in the dog owners to be responsible. But most dog owners we spoke with are pleased about stricter enforcement of the law, which could now come with a fine. I think it's a great idea, especially with the big dogs, you know, going on leash, you know, could be dangerous. The dog leash law is just one of many violations that would be enforced with fines under a new program that would also include fines for drinking in public, using fireworks, or smoking in prohibited areas. We have uh, dozens of these quality of life issues that both animal control and LAPD enforce. This will give us a mechanism. Councilman Paul Koretz has been working on the program called Administrative Citation Enforcement for the past five years. This is about providing some tools to do better enforcement of quality of life issues. The program could generate more than a million dollars each year. This program will be able to pay for itself with the citations, so we'll be able to, for the first time, be able to afford a number of people to do the enforcement. The councilman says the program should be implemented in the next month or two once Mayor Eric Garcetti gives final approval and he says the pilot program could actually be expanded to include building and safety violations as well. In Studio City, Amy Johnson, KCAL 9 News.